Hey guys, I'm Cassie Joy and you're watching Stardom E Magazine. Hey y'all, it is Ashley Lambert with Stardom E Magazine and I'm here with Cassie Joy, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm really good. So you have made it even further on The Voice. How does that feel? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, I'm still <laughs> trying to like comprehend it all. Um, I was definitely in shock when I won the battle, but um, just super grateful and um, just excited to stay on Team Blake. Very cool. Okay, so I want to talk a lot about you. Um, a lot. There's a lot of information out there about The Voice and your experience with The Voice, but I want to know, so at the age of five, you fell in love with music. How did that happen? Um, I've always been just really attracted to the stage, any kind of production, performance, dancing, sparkling, singing. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I got I got hooked on watching Britney Spears and NSYNC, and I just loved it. And um, my parents had this karaoke um, tape of an Alabama song, and I learned it and begged my parents to let me do this Smithville talent show. And... Uh, Away we went. <laughs> very cool. Uh, very cool. Okay, so along the way, vocal lessons. I hear you play instruments and that kind of stuff too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I never really took many vocal lessons. Um, I just never picked up on that side of it. Okay. I was more of a manipulate my voice how I want right. it to sound and figure it out on my own. And um, I did that with instruments as well. So now I play um, guitar and piano and very a cool. little bit of percussion. Very cool. So yodeling, how did you, did you just hear it and figure out how to do it on your own? Or tell me about that. Um, my mom was um, really great at showing me a lot of young artists when I was younger. So she showed me Blue by Leanne Rimes when it came out and I was, um, you know, pretty young. And um, then she showed me Cowboy Sweetheart by Leanne Rimes. And at that point, I was doing a lot of competitions with singing um, mm -hmm. called American Kids. Okay. And um, that was, she said, you know, let's do this for your competition song. So um, I just started yodeling in the shower a ton. And uh, now it's kind of kind of my thing. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Okay. So I was stalking you, as I said earlier, on Totally Googled You. <laughs> and um, one of, in one of your interviews, you talked about that this was not your first time auditioning to uh, to get on The Voice. So how many times did you audition, first of all? Um, I've pretty much tried out every season. Okay. Um, and just, I got, you know, I would get the pass a few times, but just pass, you know, a certain round. And, um, you know, I just don't think it was my time then. Um, I, I wasn't as good of a yodeler then. Um, it's definitely gotten a lot better in the last year. Mm -hmm. My stage presence has gotten better. I've gotten better at you know playing instruments and talking to a crowd. And I just think that it was it was probably the right decision that I you know didn't make it at that time. Mm -hmm. And now I just feel super ready and prepared. Yay! Okay, so now you feel prepared. Before, whenever you got the news that okay you weren't making it any farther, that has to be this is your dream. So that had to be pretty devastating. So what were your coping mechanisms? How did you get through? How did you like resilience and all that kind of stuff and keep and more importantly keep going with this awesome dream? Um, I've kind of had to just keep pushing myself since I was five. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't come out of the womb singing beautifully you know my <laughs> my parents don't sing I have no there's no one musical in my family okay so it hasn't been something that's natural it's been something that I had to consciously make the decision and put the effort in and decide like I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna get better and I have to make myself better mm -hmm. so I mean hearing no has just kind of been like <laughs> kind of the yeah. main thing <laughs> the, right. the standard along the way right. um, that's just kept me you know pushing myself and yeah. you know to finally hear yes it's like <laughs> finally. Cool. So what have you done in the meantime as you've been pursuing this dream tell me about your behind the scenes of your life like what is it what is the day-to-day -day life for you like prior to The Voice? So before The Voice um, the past two years I've been playing uh, downtown in Nashville on Broadway in the Honky Tonks so um, I'm playing um, just me and a guitar acoustic um, playing for four hours to tourists in the bars oh, wow. every day and taking requests and playing songs I've never heard before learning them in the bathroom and then <laughs> playing them to get my twenty dollars so Very I can pay cool. for parking and yeah. so that's kind of been the struggle. <laughs> Very cool. So and then from here, what what's your big dream? Do you see yourself like filling up stadiums and giving people a break from their life for a little bit, or where do you see music taking you? That that has definitely been the goal since day one Very was cool. stadium, arena, you know, um, yeah. 
I want to, you know, world tour. I mean, it, this, the sky's the limit is, is what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so we're going to do rapid fire 20 questions. Okay. And sorry, my allergies are making my eyes water. <laughs> so you're making me cry. You're so yeah, beautiful. I'm, I'm like, I thought I was, I was sad yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you ready for rapid fire 20 questions? I'm ready. Okay, so favorite song in the whole wide world? <gasps> Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. Okay, favorite children's song in the whole wide world? Matilda the Gorilla. War, Good God Man. Huh, what? <laughs> is it good for a good job good job okay so okay uh random stupid kind of questions favorite color teal favorite holiday and why christmas halloween okay uh, i love presents but i love dressing up too what did, what were you last halloween um last halloween oh black widow black widow oh the superhero yeah girl that's sweet okay so um favorite brand of makeup mac do you sometimes get on Facebook? This is a yes or no question, which is random. But um, do you sometimes get on Facebook and find that three hours has passed by and you haven't accomplished anything? Absolutely. Every day. <laughs> uh, have you ever played Candy Crush? No. No? no? Oh, my goodness. Okay, you need to play Candy Crush. It's seriously, it's like, it's like meditation. Okay, so other fun questions. Um, what's your favorite animal? Gorilla. What uh, do you do to overcome your nerves before you get on stage? just go out there <laughs> there's no um i did read that like um it's really good to like clench your fists and then let it out to get any tension yeah, yeah. out so i've been kind of doing that i don't know if it works but okay so what's the craziest thing you do for vocal warm-ups or do you even do vocal warm-ups because i know some people do like crazy like stuff um yeah um i didn't do any vocal warm-ups before the voice but um there are coaches out there that give us voice lessons and uh yeah so i do the all that now really is that the only fun one that you do actually the weird one that I do is I sing through straws for about 10 minutes little oh, coffee really? straws and, okay. and no one else out there does it so I'm always walking around singing through my straws and they're like what is she doing <laughs> like she's getting warmed up yeah. okay so um if you what is your I, obviously music is your passion in life but it's a gift to other people so what is it that you're like what about that process of you giving your gift of music to other people is Am I making sense that you let like that you love? Because I know like for me when I, I teach people just as an example, if you're not understanding what I'm saying, it's more about the reaction of the other people than about because I think some people think that when you get up on stage, it's about you. But I think for a lot of performers, it's about just the really cool, like the weepy eyes like me <laughs> in, the, in the stands. Is that what it is for you or what is it? Yeah, absolutely. And especially with um, my original music. I mean, I write it obviously as a, as a therapy for myself. It's kind of my diary and I'm putting it out to the world. But mm -hmm. um, music has always been so healing and helpful for me in, mm -hmm. in my life. And so that's kind of the goal when writing songs is just to make them really relatable so that I can one day be, you know, that artist that really helps someone get through, you know, a really, you know, hard time in life. Very cool. So <clears throat> if people want to connect with you and get to stalk you even more than what I got to do with Google, because I couldn't even find you on Facebook, <laughs> where would they find you? Do you have like a fan page, Instagram, Snapchat? Like what all, where all can people find you? Yeah. Um, so you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Cassie Joy Music. Okay. And then my Snapchat is my full name, Cassie Joy McCall. Okay, very cool, very cool. So is there anything that I haven't covered? I know we didn't do all 20 questions, but I was trying to remember everything that I had lined up and I can't. Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? It's good. Was this one of the best interviews totally. ever? Totes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everyone, so this is Cassie. And next time that you are coming up, you guys have battles for another couple weeks for the that's coming up on Monday and Tuesday at 7 8 central correct yeah there's one more week of battles and then we'll go into the knockouts so are you doing push-ups getting ready for this yes. getting ready very cool so I'm excited I'm totally gonna watch you all right everyone so follow her on Facebook Twitter snapchat Instagram Yes. And make sure you tune in on Monday and Tuesday and NBC 7, 8 Central to watch her on The Voice. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you soon.